My name is Nika Mule. I'm a senior on UConn women's basketball team and we're in Zagreb, Croatia and this is my home. This is my beautiful mom, Roberta. Um, this is my beautiful dad, Darko. And this is my fat cat, Columbo. And the only person that we're missing is my sister, but we'll see her this year. So it'll be fun. I remember the day before I had to leave, um, I was right here and I was crying to my mom and dad. And I was like, I don't want to go. I'm not going, I'm staying here. I'm not catching a flight tomorrow, I'm going to miss it. Um, so I really didn't want to go at first um, because I was scared, you know, I'd never been away from home for 18 years. As soon as I stepped on that plane, as soon as I arrived to campus, you know, my new family just accepted me for who I am. Uh, all the flaws, all the good stuff just immediately, you know, clicked with the team, became my sisters for life. It was hard at first, but as soon as I stepped on campus, I never regretted it, ever. Obviously, I knew who Gina Ariema is. I knew who Christine Daly was. I knew that they were the best team in the country. I knew about Diana Taurasi, Maya Moore, Subert, all the legends. Definitely knew they were, they were the most successful team in the country. To be Croatian, to me, means just being myself, the way I am, my characteristics. Are, is very similar to um, most of the people in my country, you know. We're very passionate about the things that we love and we, we give 100% whenever, whatever we do. We're super hardworking. On the other side, we're super, you know, laid back. We know how to live life, how to enjoy life and just take things slowly. This is my middle school right here behind me. This is where it all started. This is where I grew up. This is where was the first game when the guys didn't let me play because I was not good enough. And since then, I've been breaking ankles here, so. Meet my sister, Hannah. Say hello. Say go Huskies. She said go Huskies. No, my Zagreb has kind of a soul, which it's hard to, you know, just go around and explore in one day. I feel like, you know, over the years, you just find the little things about the city, about the people especially. I feel like it's not even about the city. I feel like the people here are what make this city so special in my heart. Just the little places, the little memories, the experiences that I've had here with my family, my friends. Um, it always brings me back, even, you know, if I'm not home for nine months every year, every time I come back, it's like I never left. Although I love my city, I love every part of it, every inch of it, all the good parts, all the bad parts. I feel like the people are, you know, what make this city so special in my heart and what I call home is really my people, not the city. So I would say my family, friends, all the people here. Um, people are super welcoming, super heartwarming. So it's like a, a super big family at the end of the day. Like anybody would say, they've sacrificed so much for me. Gave me, gave me and my sister opportunities that they themselves didn't have to be able to be here and you know share this moment with my American family and my you know Croatian family, uh, have them you know meet and you know interact and share experiences, share memories just means a lot because you know it feels like I'm giving just a little bit back to them for all of them for me. They're my biggest support, the people I love the most in my life. So you know it's super special for UConn and for the whole program and for Coach to be able to do this for me and them, um, just for us to share, you know, this experience is huge. Just gonna, you know, remember this forever. Being able to connect my UConn family with my actual family, my friends, everybody here that's been supporting me on FaceTime basically for three years, not being able to watch a game live. Um, I'm just so thankful to the whole UConn program and to Coach for, you know, making this happen, making this possible because not a lot of player get this players get this opportunity. I'm super thankful, you know, for my family to be able to watch me live for the first time after three years. There's going to be a lot of people I'm excited, a lot of my friends, family, neighbors, people that I don't know that just, you know, support me, support my team. Um, so it's definitely a full circle moment and I'm super thankful and I don't think I've, I'm even aware of it. <laughs> I think I'm going to be, you know, realizing uh, tomorrow when the game actually happens, but 
I'm just super thankful and um, this is definitely a huge reward, you know, for all the hard work and everything. And it would not be possible without, you know, UConn program and coach and just super thankful, super thankful for all of it.